Hi, just a demo of a uh, flip-flop uh, looper circuit. Um, this one uses two two counters um, to do the to the switching, but you're only using bit one, so it's going zero one zero one zero one. So if you switch one, uh, it goes zero. It goes one. It goes high. Imagine the LED is connected to a relay and is switching a looper or a pedal, and and then if you press the button again, it turns off. Uh, likewise on the second circuit, if you press the button, it turns on, uh, it goes off. So it just goes on, off, on, off. It's just going zero, one, zero, one, zero, one on the on the lowest bit. Uh, but I've also connected the uh, this, which is essentially the uh, clock input to to the circuit to the reset on the other circuit, and vice versa. Those are those green wires. Um, so if I turn on one, and then I want to flip flop. I don't have to turn this off and then turn this on. I can immediately just turn that on and it turns the other one off and vice versa. Um, so yeah, the the output the output from the logic board, you could then, the lo logic of each one, you could connect to a relay and they could be true bypass for a looper or a pedal. Like if you had two, two pedals, I'm gonna use it for, if I have two pedals in one, but I never wanna stack them. Um, so I wanna be able to, a, like a dual pedal dual overdrive pedal, and I, but I never want to stack them. So if I want to turn one off, I mean, I only have to press and, and turn the other one on, I only have to press this button once and it does it. Um, but you could make that completely switchable because all you'd have to do is add a uh, double pole, double throw uh, for these green wires. And so you either have them connected or when you disconnect the, uh, or when you flip the switch, you have them connected around, and then you could stack the two circuits. Then when you switched this one, it wouldn't turn this one off, so you could have both circuits on at the same time. So it's a quite neat little circuit. As I said, this uses two counters, because uh, that's what I happen to have it at the time. Um, these capacitors and this little capacitor and resistor network just smooths out the the click from this because it's going into the clock input and this has some um, bounce this switch so it goes up down up down up down before it, um, when you click it so that just smooths out that click and makes it a single clock impulse for the uh, counter uh, after this I'm going to try I had as I said I had these counters because I, I was using them for another circuit but after this I'm going to try doing it on a uh, just using a single using a um, JK flip flip flop with a uh, with a uh, with a reset on it, um, but I don't have that chip yet, so I was just trying this first to see if I could do it. Um, I'm going to try it on that because then I only have to use one chip because you can get a single chip with uh, two JK flip flops in it and just makes the circuit a bit smaller. Um, so uh, yeah, uh, with the with the LEDs, um, they may have to be in series with your uh, if you were connecting to a relay. I'd have to test that, but I don't have any relays with me either. And um, thanks for watching.